So welcome back to another um, in the uh, in the series here of my built models. Um, if you watched the uh, the first video, you would have seen a bit of an intro, but I'm going to throw this intro onto every video so you guys know what you're looking at. And basically, I'm going to be going over all most of these models behind me. I completed before I had the YouTube channel started, so I'm going to be going through these uh, bit by bit, quick little five minute videos, uh, so you guys can take a look uh, at the videos I've built. I'll talk about the model, uh, what I uh, some of the issues I had building it, how I I liked or did not like that kit, and then some of the aftermarket if there is any type of resin or, or, or uh, aftermarket decals I used on the kit and then at the very end I'll throw up some pictures of the completed model so you guys can get a good view of what all these look like and what I went into because there has been some interest I've heard from you guys that you do want to see some more of these uh, and not all of them are going to have full up build logs so uh, you know, I can't do product reviews. I can't do anything on these ones that are built. So those are going to be included in these videos. So any of this series and this playlist, that's what it's going to be. So please don't come in here thinking you're going to get a full build log. Um, but uh, so yeah, stay tuned. I will eventually have all of these videos done and I'll have them all released. So uh, stay tuned. Um, and uh, as always, my name is Sean. And this is Sean's Aviation. And just before we get into the video, um, something I should have been doing a lot more up till now, and that is just asking you guys out there, if you enjoy what you're looking at, if you are if you like what I'm doing, go down below, uh, click on the, the like page, subscribe to my, my channel, and uh, by all means, please click on that little notification bell. If uh, that way you guys get, uh, uh, get alerted when I do get more new content up. I usually try to do the what's on my desk uh, monthly update beginning of the month. And I usually try to get a video or a series of videos released um, by the 15th, the middle of the month. So whether that's going to be a uh, tips and tricks video or an aviation history video or my time lapse videos of the previous model builds that I've got done or uh, an air show video or, you know, um, some of my new product review videos I'll be doing. So I'm going to try to get something posted uh, by the middle of the month. So uh, please, if you're enjoying this, subscribe, like. And click that notification bell. Let's move on to the video. So next up I have another Tamiya Spitfire Mark V, but it's a Mark V with a twist and it is this. So it is a Mark V Spitfire that was captured by the Germans and used as a test aircraft um, and uh, before I, I, I give away too too much, um, so it's the Tamiya Mark V kit. Um, there's actually a resin um, cockpit in there, I can tell you in a second. Um, it's basically got an Ares aftermarket resin cockpit, and I used the Fusion uh, Fusion Model Works. It's a, a resin company. Uh, the conversion to turn this into the German Spitfire. And uh, what is interesting about this, and people you might not even be able to tell looking at it from the top, is if I turn it, you might have figured it out by the title because the video is titled "The Mesher Spit," uh, which might give it away. So what happened was, is the Luftwaffe wanted to prove that the Daimler-Benz engine was better than the Merlin engine, so they actually attached a Daimler-Benz engine to a Spitfire and did it as a fly-off against the 109 uh, to prove that uh, the 109 was a better aircraft and that the Merlin engine was inferior to the Daimler-Benz engine. At the end of the day, uh, basically, uh, from what I understand, uh, it, it proved nothing. The uh, it didn't have any significant performance um, gains over the Merlin engine Spitfire uh, showing that A, the airframe does almost equally with both engines and at the end of the day um, the, uh, um, the Daimler Benz and the Merlin were basically uh, equivalent. So it does have the conversion, so it involved quite a bit of work. I had to chop off the whole forward section of the fuselage and then assemble that. Everything else went together uh, basically as it was out of the, uh, the box. Uh, the only real modification, all other than the engines, you get the little stubs for the cannons would have been mounted on the wings. I'll zoom in here a little bit so you can see. So the cannons would have been normally mounted in the wings. There are the little stubs uh, to block those off. And because the aircraft had belly landed in, uh, the pitot system uh, was a little mangled. And so they actually put a wingtip mounted pitot uh, in one of the gun bays. It actually comes out where the machine gun comes out on the wing instead of the underwing pedo that would normally be fitted under here. So they modified that a little bit to allow the Germans to uh, to fly it and then it had uh, this German camo put on it. The uh, two-tone gray on the top 
with the yellow bottom. And a lot of German prototype and captured aircraft had the yellow bottom so that uh, other fighters would know immediately that this was a captured aircraft and not an actual Spitfire. Uh, so it is interesting to see. It does get some interest when I put it on display at different uh, events and whatnot, when I go to different model shows or whatever to show off. Um, you know, the Daimler-Benz powered Spitfire because not a lot of people know about this history and I just like the odd and different uh, models. Now I did throw a resin cockpit in here. It is the only Spitfire I've ever used a resin cockpit on. Um, I did buy a bunch of resin cockpits at one point and uh, I had them in the stash and I still have a couple of the models over there uh, that I have cockpits for but I've gotten away from using them um, and that's because I find the way I build and display my models I don't expect people to be up close right here looking at them. Um, and I mean, you can even see in this video, you can't tell that that's an aftermarket cockpit. And the view you see in this video is kind of the view that most people are going to see my models of. They're not going to be, you know, three inches looking in the cockpit. They're going to be three feet. And it's one of the reasons why I consider myself a three feet model. I'm a three foot modeler. As long as it looks good from three feet away, I'm happy with it. So I've gotten away from using resin cockpits. Some people love the hyper-realism of them. For the money and effort, in my opinion, I don't like doing it. So this is one of the few that I did have uh, a resin cockpit in. And to be all, I mean, it looks absolutely amazing. Again, I'll zoom in here and I'll see if I can get some, some good shots from inside the cockpit. I mean, it looks... It's not going to focus, is it? No, it's not going to focus. It looks absolutely stunning. I mean, the depth on, on the instrument panel, the detail on the sidewalls. I put it on this kit because I did ha figure I'd be displaying this kit quite a bit more than my other Spitfires when it came to events and whatnot. So I did decide to do it on this one, but it's not something that I'm going to routinely do. But you can kind of see there that the B there is tons of detail and it looks great, but it's just not worth the effort. The amount of effort I put in to hogging away plastic and hogging away resin to make everything fit inside the fuselage and just making it fit. It was just a pain and it was a ton of work and I would probably never do it again. Uh, but there you go. It looks great. I love the look of that on the shelf. Really gets some attention. Even people who don't know much about airplanes when they see it, uh, they kind of get a little blown away. But that is the 148th Spitfire Tamiya Spitfire Mark V Mesher Spit. watching guys and as always if you are interested in any of the content you see you can access my website at www.shawns-aviation.com uh, you can see all the uh, latest pictures of aircraft and museums and the build logs of all of my current models and past models on that site and if you're interested in any of this content uh, please click the subscribe button here on uh, YouTube to follow more thank you very much and see you guys next time